On the margins of the Rio Plus 20 conference, high-level representatives from the public and private sector participated in the official launch of UNIDO's Green Industry Platform, a worldwide initiative to catalyze and mobilize action to make green industry a reality. Spearheaded by the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, in cooperation with the United Nations Environment Programme, the platform brings together governments, businesses and the civil society to foster cleaner and more competitive industrial development. Nations will industrialize. Can we help them through this platform to do it the right way? That is the message. And we believe this multi-stakeholder platform, companies, governments, experts, civil society, we can define a new way of industrializing. The old concept used to be produce dirty, clean up later if they find out that you're dirtying the water systems. We believe today that you can achieve green growth, green industrialization, while you also clean. The reason why I think we both believe it was very important to launch this initiative here is not only because of the UN being able to demonstrate that it actually has some concrete offers that will live beyond the Rio summit, but also because it speaks very much to a major theme of this conference. The green economy in the context of sustainable development and poverty eradication is a hotly negotiated topic. Now, interesting enough, not so much in terms of what countries wish, will, and are about to do at the national level, but more in terms of what is it that we have to gain to take these discussions also to the international level. During the launch event, keynote speeches were delivered by the European Environment Commissioner Janis Potocznik, Polish Environment Undersecretary Beata Jaczewska, CEO and Chairperson of the Global Environment Facility, Monique Barbieu, as well as by Heinz Leuenberger, Director of the UNIDO Environmental Management Branch, and Mia Horn of Francien, Swedish Ambassador at the Ministry for Foreign Affairs. All speeches emphasized their respective support and the need for stronger partnership and greater innovation. For the European Commission, the aims of this panel align very much with our objective of wanting Rio to result in concrete outcomes and concrete measures that will support the transition to the green economy. The intention to involve key stakeholders from not just government organizations, but the business community is one of the key attractions of this panel. New business models are needed, not only in, in, in terms of internally within businesses, but also in how we cooperate. And I think here we are today, as has been stated here, with a new business model for cooperating and solving problems. We look forward to working closely with you and other partners to move this agenda forward. Following many successful past projects, we will together preach the benefit of green industry, promote public-private partnership, go beyond business as usual, and hope to nudge the world into a sustainable path. A lively discussion followed, which allowed for very interesting exchanges between the audience and the high-level panel that included Richard Conte, Minister of Trade and Industry of Sierra Leone, Luis Cantro, Permanent Representative to the United Nations Chamber of Commerce, Rob Bernard, Chief Environmental Strategist of Microsoft, Chen Yu, Chairman and CEO of the Board Group and Klaus Tick Pedersen, Senior Director and Head of Sustainability Development at Novozymes. We have to industrialize, we have to manufacture, we have to add value. The question therefore is, where do we start? Do we have to repeat the mistakes of the past? Do we have to depend upon fossil fuels? Do we have to still repeat uh, uh, those things that endanger the environment? Or do we go for more energy efficient technologies? And in terms of barriers to, to green energy, uh, maybe uh, I'll start with, with three, because I think there are a lot of barriers. You know, the first is information availability that can drive behavior change. The second is more green energy to purchase. Again, I think we're just, we're sub 10%. We're nowhere near where we need to be. And then the third is, I think, driving the problem in those first two categories is internal and external governance changes. Resource efficiency. Uh, it's our core business, so relevant, absolutely. Uh, and not only for us, uh, I say it's resource efficiency is really uh, becoming super critical for any company in, in this uh, world. 
Already, the platform has attracted a large membership of over 100 entities, including key development players and international corporations. Progressively, the operations of the platform will bring more and more stakeholders together to jointly contribute to sustainable development through green industry.